All right, so I really quickly wanted to go over how to block a device from having internet access on a Unify network. Now we're gonna do this with a couple of devices, both of the devices being the home iPads. So we have Adrian's iPad here at 192.168.1.150 and we have Ari's iPad at 168.1.151. And these are the two IP addresses that we are gonna be blocking. Both of them have been reconfigured to be fixed IP addresses or those MAC addresses. So when we do block the IP address, it actually blocks that specific device, even if it were to leave and rejoin the network. So we're gonna start by clicking the settings button here on the left, and we're gonna go over to security, internet threat management, we're gonna click that to expand the menu. Roll down here to firewall, click firewall. And since we're working with two IP addresses, we do not want to make a separate rule for each IP address. What we rather do or what's more efficient is to create a group, add those two IP addresses to the group, and then create a policy to block that group from accessing the internet with the new rule. So to create a new group, we're going to press the create new group button. Let's name the group uh, iPad block iPad block type we're going to say IP4 address and we're going to go ahead and add an address 192.168.1.150 add the second address 192.168.1.151 and we're going to press apply changes so if we expand firewall again we have this new group created iPad block and it has a total of two IP addresses associated with it. Our next step is to create the rule by pressing the create new rule button. We're going to set the type to internet out so those devices don't have access out to the internet. We're going to put in an appropriate description so we know exactly what this rule is doing. Something that we will remember down the road when our access control list becomes ridiculously long. So we're going to have this rule applied before predefined rule. We're going to have the action to drop the traffic. IP4 protocol set to all. Now, this is one of the important parts. For the source, we need to select the group that we just created. iPad block. Report group, we're going to use any because we're going to block all traffic to this group, not just specific port. For MAC address, we'll leave that open because we're looking for all the items in this group, not a specific MAC address. For destination, we're going to have the address and port group be any, so it blocks all outbound traffic. And then we're going to select apply changes. After those changes are applied in approximately 30 seconds to a minute, those two devices will no longer have access to the internet. 